I want to say I'm going to be the next female president of FIFA, uh, the first female president of FIFA, but in saying that, I kind of want to see where the path takes me. So today we're making spanakopita. This isn't just about cooking, this is about passing on the generation of my family's knowledge, so very important. Football's always been in my family for as long as I can remember. My sister, my grandfather watches it, and my papa, he watches it. It's fundamental in the existence of my growth. I think being a female in this game alone is very tough. Part of the issue is a lot of girls don't know that they can work in football. I didn't even know I could work in this game until I met Tim Gale. I remember him saying to me at the time, why don't you work in this game? That has never even occurred to me that I could work in football. We need more women in administration. We need more female CEOs, we need more female management stepping onto the field and hearing female footballer, female coach, female referee. It was always very frustrating. I became the vice president of my club and I really, really wanted female cut uniforms. We have women that have fallen pregnant, we've got women who are like all different sizes in our teams, in our club. Half the battle is to make sure everyone feels comfortable, right? If nobody's feeling welcome, I'm not doing my job properly. People thought that was a luxury. When it's really not a luxury, that's a basic right for a girl to feel comfortable on the pitch. That's what's important. We are currently in the golden years of football. This is a huge opportunity coming forth. I definitely see myself in this game. I can't imagine myself anywhere else. Hey, hey. Are you ready for the game? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my sister Alex, as you can tell, she's the older one because she's that. <laughs> to me, that's the end goal. If I've got a girl doing something in this game, that's a win to make sure that every girl can go on that field with no barrier. That's a major win. Are the girls here yet? Not yet. All right, they're coming.